Hi everyone, it's me. I'm back. How are you all doing today? This is a video for um I joined Lynn Shabbylicious is running a journal challenge for um all of us lovely ladies and uh, quite a few of us joined in the very beginning and then the lockdown hit and a lot of ladies for one reason or another which is understandable weren't able to then join so we we now there's eight of us in it so every month we have to do um a journal page um well it's not it's four it's a piece of a4 paper folded into folded in half and then you 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 actually decorate each side so um first month which was july you had to do your own journal page and then the next month you started with um your partner for the month so my partner for this month is little sue crafty beginner so hi sue um sue's uh style was christmas themed and she wanted a traditional christmas and also it, her colors were red and green so and our my interpretation of it of christmas and my crafting so i started with um the front page i'd done a belly band <coughs> excuse me excuse my voice is a bit creaky today i did a belly band um I backed it with some red and green papers that um, I had from a digi kit I bought. I can't remember where I bought it from now because it, I bought it at Christmas and I can't remember that far back. Um, the backing paper as well was from a kit as well. Um, and the belly band has been stitched around. I got changed my needle actually because um, there was a few jump stitches. And I used uh, some gold, some gold ribbon, mesh ribbon. And then I used a cut out from, I think it's Taylor, Taylor Made Journals, her Edwardian Christmas cut outs or something like that it was called. So I did a belly, bud, belly band, I was going to say a belly button then, what am I like? And then on, the, on that I did a journaling card. So uh, it's got some tartan material behind it, merry and bright, a beautiful picture, a traditional Christmas, um, looking through a window with some berries and there's a bit of snow and um, on the back I just put some tea dyed paper which I tea dyed and I stitched all around the edges as well so there are some jump stitches on it I do apologize but that's just um oh and on the side I did a little dangle which is a candy cane put onto a bulb pin with a couple of little um a couple of little metallic beads so very Christmassy <clears throat> I did a little bit of red red material there with some more of this gold mesh um, ribbon and um, stitched it on so that is the first page the next page in I did a a pocket well and decorated it with some more of the little cutouts from tailor made journals um, and then I I put a, a stuck down a candy cane there it's all red and greens and then I did a tag which is Father Christmas, uh, backed with some manila paper, uh, children's craft paper, and I put a little bit of, um, what's this called? It's tinsely trim, but it's actually elastic. So I did that, and then I put in a piece of ephemera which said Merry Christmas on that page. The next page I just decorated with um, some more Christmas paper. I can't remember the kit now, I really can't remember it but I'd have to go back and have a look anyway this is a little fold out and basically I decorated the front with some some little tartan material that I ruffled and then stuck this down this gold trim and then if you go inside it there's you open it up there's four four sides this this bit can be journaled on and then inside is all journaling space. So you just fold it up like that, fold it up like that. And then I've pinned that to, I uh, backed the paper, backed it with Christmas paper. And then I just pinned it on with this little paper clip that I put some tinsel on and some little, little um, sparkly ribbon. So that was that side. And then at the back, 
I did a another belly band but going the other way backed it with some papers which are the tartan ones <clears throat> and this is a little booklet that I saw on I think it was G Kerr I think she did it <clears throat> excuse me and um, it's just got some Christmassy material there with that window picture again and then you open it up and there is a little booklet inside here there's a pocket here which I put some some ephemera in oh, that's a little envelope I can put anything in there I may, might have to put something in there um, a little tag <clears throat> this has got a little pocket here with some more ephemera just going in there and then there's two pockets on this side which has got more ephemera in it so um, yeah <clears throat> sorry about my voice I'm, I think it's the hay fever I'm struggling with it today so yeah so that was the little booklet Q and that um, and um, I stitched in the, the little booklet with some red and white baker's twine so I better hurry up before my voice gives up completely there's the belly band um, I put some some gold uh, some red glittered ribbon on that it was wire ribbon but I took the wire out and then that just slots in like that so that is my my entry to challenge uh, month number one for Lynn Shabbylicious journal pages which she's she's running <clears throat> we're all swapping with each other and nothing's going back to Lynn or anything like that but she just she put it all together for us um, and thank you for that Lynn it's been lots of fun up to now I've only done this one obviously and I'm still working through mine because I just put mine on the back burner because I can make mine anytime but I will show it to you so anyway everybody sorry about my creaky voice today um, but uh, I'll be back soon folks so this is the one for the month of August for Little Sue Crafty Beginner so thank you all for watching everyone bye for now bye bye bye